to her, they stopped and went to her. I said, Mother, where is my child? What happened? What did she feel? She said, I don't know. She's in there. I went in there and I saw my daughter's corpse. The Sola did not say anything to me. I went in there and I met my daughter on her deathbed. She was already dead when I got there and I saw her. All this happened in less than 10 minutes. She was already dead. She was drenched. Hello everybody, good evening. My name is Bless Nagini Ron. The girl in question is my daughter. She's my first child. I will state everything that happened. I don't like trouble. I don't like koala in my life. I'm an easy going person. I don't like attention in my life. Oh, let me state what happened. February 9th was the day of their inter-house sports. That was the day I meant to have their inter-house sports. Anybody who knows Chrisland knows that Chrisland has their inter-house sports as a Gage Stadium. Last year, I was not able to go on time. My daughter was angry. She said, Mom, you did not even come on time. You did not even come and see me take part in the match pass. And I was marching. I was looking for you. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know the way. I didn't know how to find my way to Adiki Stadium. But I promise you, in a place where you have over a hundred parents, in a country where insecurity is so high, you kept our children in that field with no proper medical arrangements in case of any emergencies. When the boy said the school bus took, I said, oh, was it my child that was in that bus that sped by? I ran out. I met a staff coming towards me. The staff said, oh, mommy, we've been looking for you. He was so calm and casual. I said, oh, mommy, we've been looking for you. Um, Whitney fell. I said, yes. And then she fell. He said, oh, yeah, she fell. But don't worry, she'll be fine. We've taken her to the hospital. I said, okay, let's go to the hospital. Immediately, I picked my phone. I called my husband. My husband wasn't picking. His PA said he was in a meeting. I said, please get the phone across to him. I don't care who he's having that meeting with. Even if it is the governor, go and give him the phone. It's an emergency. The guy went and gave my husband the phone. I told my husband what happened. My husband said, okay, no problem. Go to the hospital. I will make a few calls and I will meet you there myself. I'm on my way already. I asked the staff, please, where is the hospital my daughter was taken to? Select him as the principal. We asked the principal. Principal said it was Agege Central Hospital. I said Agege Central Hospital. She said yes. I brought out my phone. I put it on Google Map. It was not showing. I put it again. Agege Central Hospital. It was not showing. What I saw was Agege Central Mosque. I said, ah, Central Mosque, Central Hospital. Ma, it's not showing. She said, don't worry, just ask around. Go. They would. They will tell you. We drove out of the stadium to the gates. We asked the gatesmen. We don't know. We ask as we were driving, we we're asking people, please, where's Agege Central Hospital? They said they don't know that. What they know is Agege General Hospital. And I called. I said, Ma, is this Agege General Hospital or Central? I said it is Central. It's very close to the stadium. What we couldn't locate, it. don't worry, just ask around. Go. They would, they would tell you. We drove out of the stadium to the gates. We asked the gatesmen. We don't know. We ask as we are driving, we are asking people, please, where's Agege Central Hospital? They said they don't know that. What they know is Agege General Hospital. And now, God, I said, Ma, is this Agege General Hospital or Central? I said it is Central. It's very close to the stadium. What we couldn't locate the place now. Nobody we were asking knew where it was. We were not able to get um, it on Google Map. I told the driver, you know what? Let's go to Agege Central Mosque. It is central, central. Maybe if we get to the central mosque, somebody will be able to help us and show us where the hospital is. That was how we left. Fortunately, on our way there, before we got to the to the central mosque, we saw their school bus by the side of the road. So we automatically knew that was where she was. I jumped down from the school bus and I rushed in. Rushing in, I saw the woman that went with her, the staff that went with her. I said, Madam, where is my child? What happened? What did she feel? She said, I don't know. She's in there. I went in there and I saw my daughter's corpse. The solar did not say anything to me. I went in there and I met my daughter on her deathbed. She was already dead when I got there and I saw her. All this happened in less than 10 minutes. She was already dead. She was drenched soaked to the skin, water was dripping. I knelt down. I called on God. I shouted. I screamed. I felt her pulse. No pulse. I put my hand on her chest. It was deadly silent. My daughter was 
silent. I asked the doctor there. He said, doctor, what happened to my daughter? The woman looked at me and said, eh, madam, from the way I'm saying things, is like cardiac arrest. I said, cardiac what? Whitney was 12. She was 12 October. I beg you, in the name me. of Almighty God, yeah. please don't support life. I am not supporting. I am not Sorry, looking ma. for attention. I am not supporting. I'm a priest Let of the Methodist Anglican Church. I, I am not going to support anything. Sorry. I am the chairman of all Christian parents. <laughs> I am not supporting <laughs> anything. <laughs> But I want you to remain calm. We have to be Stop there. Whitney is our child. We are all involved. Please, let please. me talk, please. Yes, I am Please, sir, I want I to talk. go inside. I have a guest. Okay, please talk. Please. Talk. I don't, I don't want attention. Yes. I have um, put the story out on social media. Okay. And there was a reason behind it. No problem. Okay. Last night, I was about to sleep. Then, somebody called me around 10. She said, Bam. Is it your story I'm seeing on this lover? I said, this lover. Who put me on this lover? I don't know what happened. Why this lover kept that? So I took my phone and I opened this lover. I saw that one of my husband, I don't know the person, but I think one of my husband's PAs or somebody put the story out on this lover's page. I said, ah, Oba has carried it. I went to the comment section. I started seeing some insensitive, evil comments. So much so, somebody said that my child was sick, that my child was sickly, and I'm trying to cover it up as if I should say the truth. Hi, for something that I did not post. I had no idea it was posted. I swear on my other children's life. Yes! I had no idea it was posted. I said, ah, people kept posting insensitive comments. Somebody went as far as saying that people are taking your children to to Christland after what happened to Sylvester. And I'm like, Doen is not Christland. And I told my husband, see, my husband said, these are social media ranters. Just leave them. I said, no. Let me say my story. It is my story. Nobody will say my story for me. I wasn't told. I was there. What we need to do is to stand by you as a parent and also invest. So it was barely nine months ago, in, uh, you know, when the news of a Christian school girl is always a school girl. Bowen College has to do with boys. Here again, we are talking about Christian school girl. Nine months ago, it was about a girl who, of course, Christian school organized the kind of competition where the uh, you know, students were flown to Dubai, and this girl was having sex with her fellow school boy. And today, as I speak, a girl had just died, Whitney Adeniron. The mother is claiming that the, her daughter died of electrocution. There are so many news, so many things, you know, reports surrounding the story. Jis Lover's blog has already reported it. The woman claim, you know, is uh, accusing the school management of negligence. A school that is organizing an entire sports, Chrisland School, you know, organizing an entire sports that has to do with more than 500 children. There is no doctors, doctors are not available. Or, you know, they don't have proper first aid. This girl collapsed. She said the whole thing happened in 10 minutes. I mean, which parents anywhere do you think that would just accept that? She went for the inter-house post. She didn't see her daughter, only for her to be directed by the staff of the school to go to Agege Central Hospital. And Agege Central Hospital is not existing anywhere. Probably she was misdirected for them to cover up the whole story. And finally, she found where her daughter was kept. This is so sad. She met her daughter dead. Her daughter left her house alive and she met her dead. This is crazy. And I don't want to be categorical, but so many reports are showing that the school management is, you know, sending text messages to parents of Christland, you know, schools, uh, Christland school students that. Uh, you know, the child died of uh, electrocution or whatever. I don't really get it. 
I know that there are a lot of problems in this country, Nigeria. But the fact that so many big schools we have in Nigeria, let me talk about these prominent ones in Lagos, there are so many others also. Bowen College and Christian School, uh, you know, uh, Christian School, their negligence towards their students is horrible. You wouldn't even advise any parents in Nigeria to send their children to Christian School or Bowen. So what are you going to tell this woman? She said she saw the story of her daughter, you know, on Just Lover's blog. And the school management is accusing her of reporting it or posting it. She said she was not the one that posted it to Just Lover. Probably a family relative of hers did that. But you know, the lady, the girl is just 12 years. And they, they, she said it's not, it wasn't even a hospital that her daughter was taken to. They told her that her 12 year old daughter, Whitney Adeniron, died of uh, cardiac arrest. Well, the extent I know, I'm not a doctor, but I don't see the reason why a 12 year old daughter would be having cardiac arrest. She wasn't under pressure, she didn't do anything strenuous, and she's dying of cardiac arrest. You know, this cover up will not be taken, will not be taken anymore. Justice for Whitney and Aaron. That should be the hashtag. Ju because what I keep telling people is this. This woman now is crying for her daughter. You know, we feel, ah, this woman is taking it too much. Her daughter is sick. You know, people commenting. Because when you go online, you will see people that don't have any clue whatsoever to what happened. Maybe they don't even know the school. They have, most people, like people that, don't, that are not even legal, don't even know where Christland School is. Don't even know this girl that died, uh, Whitney Adeniron. You see them, ah, she has been sick. She's a sick girl. She's about dying. She wants to die. But what we must all understand is this. This woman is crying for her daughter today. Your own daughter, if Kia is not taking her relative, could be next. And that's why we must make sure that we get to the root of this whole thing. What led to the death of this girl, Whitney Adeniro. Forget about the messages as I allege that is in circulation by the school management to parents, telling them blah, you know, so all kinds of things. But justice for Whitney Adeniro is what we are all demanding. You cannot tell the uh, you know, parents who have been raising their daughter from four, uh, 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 age one to 12 years. And she's about, you know, finishing her uh, uh, senior, school, uh, senior school secondary, you know. And all of a sudden, she just died. The school did, did not even care. She, you know, if you watch the video, she met this stuff. They were just, uh, you know, normal, as if nothing happened. So, parents out there, be careful of the school you are sending your children. Some of these schools... Uh, just care, they don't just care. All they want is money, and some of these schools are just existing based on the name and reputation they have already. They don't have good teachers, they don't have people that they don't, they don't employ people that really care for these children. So, I pray that God will give this woman and her husband the fortune to be at the sweet lot. The young girl is already dead, and except to a special case, there's nothing that will be done to recover her again. It's shameful.